Hello dance Safarians and welcome back to a brand new video and today let's take a look at a box of wow animals, sea animals, farm animals and many other animals so let's get started. First one right here is actually a old starfish but this figure is really good it is like flexible and rubbery so this is actually made of really high quality material I really love it. So starfish one two three four five can five tentacles or five sides then will this is a very interesting um, sea animal which I've never seen one in real before. It has this really long spike. So I guess this can be used as a weapon against predators. But very interesting um, sea animal, definitely. Okay, next up we have a polar bear crop. This is one adorable um, animal. This is not exactly a sea animal because it can also live on land. So the fur of the polar bears are actually transparent. It, although they do look like you know it's yellowish and white, but they're actually transparent or rather translucent. Right, let's take a look at this. Right over here we have a Spanish bull. Alright, so have you guys seen a Spanish bull like you know charging towards people? So this is the kind of bull. It's very very um, aggressive. So if you provoke them, you have to run for your life. Right over here, we have a white lioness. So lioness is basically like a female lion. And just check out how beautiful and how pretty the eyes look like. And I really love, you know, uh, this animal. It looks really ferocious, but at the same time, it looks so majestic. All right, what is this? What type of animal is this? This is actually a, uh, a type of monkey. It's known as a mandrew. And I think the mandrill can be pretty aggressive if they are provoked. Okay, next up, let's take a look at this. We we have a bottlenose dolphin, and on dolphins, they are extremely friendly. They are extremely intelligent. They are extremely smart. You can um, be friends with them, and you know those dolphins in the wild. They have actually helped people to retrieve their fallen items. Right? For example, if you drop your handphone into the sea this dolphin is able to just help you to retrieve it. So extremely, extremely smart animals. Okay, right over here we have an octopus. So let's count a number of tentacles that, you know, make sure that this figure is accurate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can see this octopus, you know, it's really, really well done. You can see a lot of like, you know, what do you call this? Um, they are basically like, you know, structures and, um, they can this that is able to allow them to like suck on to different items and octopus they have um the ability to actually camouflage pangolin so pangolin is actually in an endangered species they can actually roll and curl into a ball a lot of um like hunters a lot of like people are you know trying to capture them and sell them as like medicinal um, products so right over here we have a voucher so voucher they are like um, scavengers, so they always feed on the weak and those animals or humans, um, yeah, even humans when they're dying. All right, right over here, I think we have another bottlenose dolphin. So you guys should know, bottlenose dolphin, they're extremely smart. Uh, what is this? I have no idea what type of animal this is. So let's have a look. You know, hopefully it's written. It's a kind of deer, I suppose, but I'm not too sure what is the exact name of this. Right over here with the golden retriever, they are extremely loyal, extremely intelligent animals. They are always used as like, you know, um, guiding dogs for the blind. Alright, what is this? Very interesting looking um, dolphin or rather whale. I think it's a, it's a kind of dolphin, I guess. Blameville's big whale. Okay, probably it's just a whale, but just check this out. The features and structures on top of the snout, it, it looks very unique and really weird looking to me. Yep, but you know, very cool figure. Next up, what is this? I think we have a uh, mountain goat, I guess. So yeah, it looks really beautiful. This figure is from Papo, wow. The chimpanzee. The chimpanzee, they are like one of the closest, or rather the closest, um, related animals to the humans. They're extremely intelligent as well. Let's see. Ostrich, okay, very cool. This is definitely one of the dinosaurs from the past. I mean, it should be closely related. It's like a theropod, so you can see. 
because the feet actually looks like the feet of um, a lot of dinosaurs out there. Definitely reminds me of a um, galley miners. You know, you guys know that galley miners. Okay, next up, let's see. What do we have right here? I think we have a um, a wolf. Yeah, really nice wolf. A small brown horse, which is like galloping. This is a beautiful figure. I think this is from um, Breyer. So Breyer they produced plenty of really cool um, animal figures. And right over here, we have a penguin. So this penguin is like standing upright and just looking upwards. So this is an Ampro penguin to be exact. So it is the largest form of um, sea animals. And this is a, a snow leopard. And if you check this out, the fur is actually much thicker than the normal leopards that you can find in um, um, those tropical countries. So it, you know, it has thick fur to keep itself warm during the cold temperatures because you can actually find this on like um, snow mountains yeah right over here with a sperm whale so remember sperm whale it has a very squarish snout okay and this one right here looks like an orca but I'm not too sure it could be an orca it should be an orca okay next up we have a horse right here and this horse looks so majestic looks so elegant this mane, okay, this fur is actually called a mane. It's like so beautiful. It's like a long head um, animal. And right over here with a gibbon, which is a type of monkey. I've actually seen them in zoos. They are very tiny as compared to um, uh, the chimpanzees. And right over here, we have another horse. And this horse looks very beautiful as well. It's some really nice patterns at the back of his body. Yeah, really beautiful a blue shark right here and this should be a great white shark if I'm not wrong okay next up what is this we have a lion and lion is actually one of my most favorite animals my most favorite animal is actually the rhinoceros what about you guys and the lion they have extremely loud roars which can be heard from miles away and right over here I think we have a turkey so let's check out a name to see if we've got it right so yep yeah, this is basically a turkey Mm -hmm. Okay, as many different layers of feathers like primary feathers, secondary feathers. Tiger right here is actually the biggest species uh, in the big cat family. All right, next up, we have a sea turtle right here. So it has a very hard shell, and sea turtles they can live up to really, really long life, like hundred years old at least. And right over here with a beautiful black jaguar, I think. Yeah, this is like one of my most favorite figures. It looks so, so, it's like a black panther. Looks so amazing. Looks like it is like, you know, stalking his prey. Yeah, it looks so beautiful. This is a great white shark figure from Peppo, I think. Oh, it's, this is actually from Safari LTD. So great white shark, they have very good sense of smell. They can smell like drops of blood from a very long distance. This is a new figure which I've got. It should be a stingray or manta ray. I think it's a manta ray. Check this out, guys. This is a young horse which is called a foal. Really adorable looking. And this one right here it should be a um, hump back wheel. I'm not too sure. And right over here we have a rooster. Okay, a rooster. So they always crow really early in the morning, like 5 a.m., sometimes even 4 a.m. And here we have a um, crab. Not too sure what exactly is um, this type of species. The beautiful horse. This figure was added very recently to my addition. We have chicks. A lot of chicks right here. Okay. And what is this? A flamingo? So I've actually seen flamingos in zoos many times. They are very beautiful. This could be, I'm not too sure, this is probably a um, very inaccurate shark figure. We have some red pandas right over here. So you can see, they yeah, look so adorable. I have seen red pandas right, before, right in front of my eyes before in the zoo. They are really, really beautiful. So this is a mandrill with a baby on top of his body. Wow, cute. 
little figure. This should be a great white shark. Um, a type of dolphin, probably a bottlenose dolphin. And this is actually a bearded dragon from Schleich. Okay, more red panda. This is another red panda. With a hen right here, which is a... Um, this should be a female chicken. If a scorpion, yes, they can be pretty deadly, okay? This stink right here, it's very deadly. Or with a viper. I think this is a viper. A fox, which I've got very recently as well. And this should be a hump back wheel. Just remember all these little pebble-like structures across the body. It's a hump back wheel. It looks like we have a lion carp. Looks so cute. And um, this is a, an orca, which is also known as a killer whale. It is the largest species of dolphins. Bottlenose dolphin. And with a chimpanzee, which looks so cute. Just raising both the arms and putting them on top of his head. We have a uh, mongoose. Yeah, mongoose, I think. And this is a great white shark. So that's all. That's all the figures we have today. Hopefully that you guys enjoyed this video. And check out, you know, check, check back my channel for daily videos on animals, sea animals. And I'll be posting some dinosaurs as well. So stay tuned for the next video. Okay, goodbye.